the Oculus Quest and Quest 2. Very unique and innovative headsets from Oculus, also Facebook. This video is five things that you can only do on the Oculus Quest platform. Let's get into it. So the first of these is without a doubt the most obvious, but still a very significant point. And that is that you can play VR games without the need for a dedicated gaming PC. Both of these devices have got compute built into them with a very hefty upgrade coming in the Oculus Quest 2. There's a myriad of great games available, including some fan favorites such as Super Hot VR and Beat Saber, as well as some pretty important licenses, including both Star Wars and Jurassic World. And I have to say this platform punches well above its weight. The Quest 2 in particular constitutes really great value for money. You can pick this thing up, you can take it anywhere, as long as you've got the ability to charge it and access to a reasonable Wi-Fi connection, you can leap into virtual worlds and have a grand time. The second of these is that you can use your hands as the controllers. This was introduced on the Quest as a beta release. It makes use of the four cameras in each corner of the headset and the onboard uh, processor, the Snapdragon CPU inside the device. It images your hands and then creates a virtual equivalent of these within the VR world. You can navigate menus, you can read through documents, you can select things, and there is a small number, a small number of games that have got native hand tracking built in, indeed some of which are designed explicitly for the use of hand tracking. It's very immersive, and it's certainly not perfect yet, it's still got a long way to go, but I can legitimately see the VR platform moving in this direction, and as the tech improves, this really will deepen the immersion within VR games. The third of these is that you can play PC-based VR games wirelessly on your headset. Now, I should caveat this to say the Vive platform can do this also, but given that the wireless adapters themselves are more expensive than the Quest or the Quest 2, um, this is a really significant capability. It does require the use of some third-party software, namely virtual desktop, and you do need to load some plugins which are only available through uh, a third-party program called SideQuest. Now, SideQuest allows you to load things into your device that aren't officially uh, allowed or supported by Oculus. Doing this with a virtual desktop plugin allows you to stream content wirelessly over your Wi-Fi as long as you've got five gigahertz available to you, and it actually works far better than you might realize. The latency was far better than I expected, and whilst the visual quality isn't quite as good as you would get with a cable, it's really not that bad at all. The fourth one of these also makes use of virtual desktop, and that is that you can control your PC with your hands. So this makes use of the Quest's hand tracking, uh, allows you via the virtual desktop to have your monitors from your PC displayed within the virtual reality space. You can uh, you can scroll down through documents, you can select things. There is a capability to type, but this is extraordinarily difficult and I wouldn't recommend it at all. But most interestingly, you can actually use hand tracking to play your PC-based VR titles as well. And this is extraordinarily clunky and a novelty without a doubt, but sitting in Half-Life Alex, playing the game and seeing Alex's hands being controlled by your own hands, being tracked by the cameras on the Quest. Um, the game is by no means playable at all, but we really are, I think, starting to get a glimpse into where the VR platform is heading, and it's very, very exciting uh, indeed. The last of these combines a number of items uh, on our list, but that is you can run... PC-based VR games from the cloud. There is a new game streaming service called Shadow, which allows you to build uh, a PC out in the cloud. Depending on how much of a monthly subscription you're prepared to pay, you can either have a GTX 1080 or an RTX 
2080, and again, making use of the virtual desktop platform, you can stream your games from the cloud over your Wi-Fi into your Quest, and you can run those PC-based uh, VR experiences from the cloud. Now, of course, there's a little bit of latency, but this is actually far better again than you might realize. A glimpse yet again, I think, into the future. Combining cloud-hosted services with PC-based titles using hand tracking, and whilst these things aren't perfectly optimized and tuned just yet, I think it genuinely gives us some insight into where the uh, where the platform is heading and it's really really exciting so there we go guys five unique things that you can only do on the oculus quest and the oculus quest 2 as always i hope you're really well wherever in the world you are please like share and subscribe and i will see you in my next one